Hi there, and welcome to yet another Facemaker video tutorial. I am Nuno, and today we'll be creating a Christmas watch face. Yes, it's that time of year again. <laughs> so, uh, I thought it would be a little uh, cliche uh, to create a Christmas watch face, but I also thought, uh, what the heck, uh, yeah, I think people will like it. So. I went into the web and searched for some elements that I could use for this watch face. Uh, so I gathered some elements that I'll be showing here. Uh, Christmas 23, there we go. Uh, we're going to use these, okay? We have a video of a, no, not this one, sorry, this one. A video with a Santa sleigh and all that. We will be importing this video and removing the green color and using the silhouette uh, for the watch face. We have a pine. We have a cabin. Uh, we have a candy cane heart. So I gather all these elements and I'll be using them for this watch face. Okay, so let's start. Let's go and on FaceMaker, I'll select select the uh, Huawei GT4. There we go. By the way, guys, thank you very much for offering me a wonderful Huawei GT4. I love it, and I'm wearing it right now. Okay, so uh, here I am going to start importing images, and here I'll import uh, that uh, image with the colors. So these are the colors I will be using. This is not the background, okay? This is just for reference so I can pick those colors and use them on my watch face. So let's proceed. I will lock all the layers and add an image and this will be the background image. So I'll use this color for it. We'll press generate. And now I am using the newest uh, polygon generator on FaceMaker you can create uh, polygons with just about any number of sides so like this okay and you can rotate it and it doesn't have to be a regular polygon so you can make a pentagon with uh, 200 width and 120 height okay so let's put this back where it was um, and put it on the top left and make this four sides for a square and now I am going to pick this color here and I think I'm going to delete all the images or rather all the, the gradients we have saved and we'll create a new palette for this watch face. There we go and add it to the favorites and now we have the color we need for the background and we can proceed. So now I'm gonna make it the same size as the watch screen. There we go. So this will be the background and we can turn off the, the generator form and lock this layer and proceed. Okay, I was thinking about uh, putting some sort of a landscape down here. Uh, it will have two levels uh, with uh, different colors and I'm gonna start making it. So let's uh, add an image. In just a moment here, I am um, opening my reference here on my other monitor. Um, okay, so let's create the first uh, circle we need. Let's press generate and we'll make it large. So something like 566 by 566. Now the problem is uh, FaceMaker is limiting the widget to the uh, watch canvas. You can't move it outside, okay? Uh, and this is an option you can change here on the preferences. So open the preferences and disable the contain widgets option here, okay? and press submit. And now we can do whatever we want with it, okay? So I am going to try and move it. But first it needs to be uh, centered. And okay, I could do a the sphere, but now I can use here on the polygon, just insert 
100 sides and it will make a circle and you can even make 200 if you want um, okay and now this is a circle uh, straight in the uh, the polygon generator okay uh, so uh, for the color uh, I think I am going to use now let me see here perhaps this one I think it was this one yeah I think it is so let's use it there and there so it's not as dark as the background uh, it's a little bit lighter uh, or maybe not I think I'm going no this is the one okay let's use this and add it to the favorites and there we go and now we'll pull it down right there okay uh, you can see that you can clearly see the difference between these two colors and this is what we want let me just hide the uh, reference here and show the background so this is what we want this difference okay and I think I might go with a darker color for the background but we'll see uh, in just a few minutes I will uh, check everything color related okay so this is now done we can now uh, duplicate it and this one will be white. So we need first to make it smaller and I'll make it 500 by 500 and then go into the effects and add a fill color effect. There we go. So, okay, now we need to center it. So I'm going to unlock it and push it down. So we see it's centered because you see that red line in the center Okay, and I think this will work. Okay, so let's lock it. This is now done. Let's call this uh, background red and this one background white. Oh, and by the way, let's give a name to our uh, watch face here on the face info. We'll call it uh, Christmas 23. Okay, and we can now save it. So save as, let's save it on the desktop. There we go. Now we have a save file and we can proceed. So everything is locked and we can start adding new, um, new elements. So the next one will be, uh, I guess the clouds here. So let's do that. Let's add an image and I'm going to enable the draw vector here okay we're going to draw a vector and I want to draw something that looks like uh, some sort of clouds um, I'll start here and I know this doesn't look look at like clouds uh, <laughs> but it will in a few minutes okay so right there okay now I'm going to enable the uh, guidelines so we see where the center of the watch face is and I'm going to put a control point here there we go and now I will close it here down here like that okay now we have uh, something that doesn't look like clouds <laughs> uh, so <laughs> first I am going to start uh, working with these control points you see here and give it uh, the, the round shape we need so like this and like this and finally this one I am putting them outside the canvas because we we need to fill this this part here and now let's make it look like clouds so like this and like this you know just try and make it work the large one here so like that and finally these two
Okay. So, yeah, I think this will work. This one needs to be smaller. So let's do that. Yeah, I think this will do. So I will push this control point a little bit off canvas. So when we fill, everything is inside this shape, okay? So just like that, okay. So I am going to fill it. And let me just tweak this just a little bit. There we go. And now I am going to fill it and save. And there we go. We have uh, some sort of clouds. And, but they're not gonna be white, okay? This would be too, too much white. I want it to be uh, more red than, than white, okay? So let's hide the background and show this uh, reference we have here. And for this one, I'm going to use the lighter color. So first, on the clouds we created, I am going to uh, make it a sphere so you see that it was cut perfectly with the round shape of the screen. And then I am going to apply a fill color right here. And we're going to pick this color here and add it to the favorites. But first I am going to remove these, okay? So add this one and done. Okay, the first layer of uh, clouds is done. So we can now uh, hide the reference and take care of the second layer. I need uh, some of these shapes on the background and I'll show you how. So I'm going to have another image and here I'm going to draw another vector, okay? So we'll start drawing control points here like this. And this can be much uh, simpler than the one we made before. Like this, and like this, and we can now go up into the edge of the screen, enable the guideline, so it was enabled, okay. We can't almost see it because of the background color. There we go. And now put here, and another one here and connect these two and there we go now we can make this round by putting it outside the canvas let's put this control point also and now here there we go those are outside and now i need some shapes out coming out from this shape the top shape okay so we're going to do that like this and like this and this might be too large so the beauty of this is that you can uh, tweak it right you can always tweak it and make it look good um, okay and we're almost done. Like. Like that. Okay. So this should work. Uh, now I am going to fill it and save. Now this shape here will be behind this one. So let's put it there. Right there, okay? So now we have some um, 3D effect because we have several uh, cloud layers here. So let's uh, make this one darker. I am going to uh, show the uh, color reference, this one here, and I'm going to use this color here for this shape. So first crop to, go, or rather to sphere. There we go. And then fill color. And let's pick that color, this one, add it to the favorites, and there we go. And now we can hide this and show the background, and there we go. We have some sort of 3D effect there, which will be uh, improved now when we had the uh, shadow effect. 
So let's do that. I'm going to apply the color effects we gave to the clouds, like that. And here, I am going to apply a shadow effect. So let's do that. Shadow. Let's go all the way to 15. Maybe it's too much. Let me just hide the guidelines here. Okay, I need to see it applied to the upper layer. Let's use the same effect. And there we go. Yeah, I believe this will work. Let's, uh, let's use it and let's call it done. Okay, we can now uh, name this. So clouds upper and clouds not clouds, but clouds lower. There we go. And control S and save. And let's proceed. Now I want to have a little cabin here and some pine trees. Almost like this is a little world down here. Okay, so let's do that. Let's add images just like this. And here I'll import that cabin. Just drag and drop onto this uh, preview field here. And this is way too large, so let's uh, first crop the content and then I uh, will resize it. And let's say 220, still too large, but I'll put it here and I'll resize it in place. So I don't want it to be too large. So just something that hints the, that a little cabin exists there, okay? Okay, something like this. Let's center it. Okay, I believe this will work. Uh, let's lock it so I can see. Yeah, we need to push it down a little bit just like that. And I think I will make it smaller, even smaller. Okay, so let's uh, enable the guidelines and we can see it's uh, sort of centered. Oh, I picked the clouds upper, sorry. There we go. Right there. And let, let's pull it down right there. And now let's apply a fill color because I want it to be white, okay? The same color as this uh, world or landscape layer, okay? Uh, let's push it down one more pixel and this is done. And now I need to import the pine uh, trees. So we'll put them all uh, here uh, following the contour of this landscape, okay? So first let's add an image and import that pine tree um, image. There we go. Uh, of course, this is too large. So let's go with uh, 60. Now it's too small, so let's make it bigger. Okay, this should work. Let's rotate it. Let's say 15, or rather minus 15. Okay, um, let me just see the size and I believe this will work. Okay, now let's duplicate it and push it to the left, make it smaller and rotate it. Zoom in and just one more degree or two like this. Okay, now we can duplicate this one once more and put it here and make it smaller. So, something like this. And rotate it. There we go. Put it in place. Need to rotate it further. And yes, I believe this will work perfectly. So we have 
what we needed. But now I want to add another uh, pine tree layer on this one, okay? So we can simply duplicate. We go to this one and we duplicate it, put it on top, and now we can simply move it. And I believe I will put it uh, or make it smaller because, you know, it's farther away, so... Like this, and we need to rotate it. And you know what? I am going to hide these for now. Just so they don't get in the way, okay? So, there we go. Yeah, like this. I think it will work. Let me just show this one and see what we have here. Well, okay, this might be a little too small. Not this one, this one. So let's uh, make it slightly larger and push it up. Okay. Hide this one, see what we got, and I believe this will work perfectly. Okay, so now we can duplicate this one, put it on the side, and rotate it just like this, and make it smaller. Okay. Duplicate once more, and this one will go in here. Uh, let's make it smaller. Right there. And let's try and match the rotation. So I'm comparing the base of the image with this slope here, okay, of the landscape. And this is how I find the right rotation. And I believe, yeah, I believe this is good enough. So let's zoom out and see what we have. Okay, yeah, I think this will work. Okay, so we have these three pine trees and we are going to merge them. So had and had. And we're going to do the same with these three. So show them. And here, add and add. Okay. Now I'm going to make these white. So effects. And let's go with the fill color and white. Okay. And this one has to be underneath. So let's put it beneath. And here I am going to add another fill color. So, fill color, what are you? There we go. And here I'm going to pick this color here, okay? There we go. So right now you can't really see uh, the difference uh, because it's too many uh, um, shades of red, but uh, we will add a, um, a shadow effect afterwards. So they will be visible, okay? Here I'm going to call it trees red and these are trees white. Well, it doesn't really matter because I will be uh, merging them with the uh, landscape circles, okay? So let's try and match the position. So trees with the background and now here trees with the white background, okay? So this is done, and um, I think we can now duplicate this onto the other side. So here I am going to do a crop to canvas, and then I'll apply a uh, mirror effect. Horizontal. There we go. And we'll do the same on the trees red. So crop to, to canvas, and then apply a mirror. There we go. Now we have our landscape. How cool is that? Uh, this will look much better in a few minutes because we'll be adding uh, 
uh, shadows and you will be able to, to see better all the trees and the background and all that. But we can't do that just yet uh, because we have uh, an animation to put on top. And let's do that, okay? Here, uh, remember, uh, oh, by the way, let's name this cabin and put it, I think I can merge it with the white background already. And I believe I can, so let's do that. Hat. Okay. Oh, by the way, we could uh, cut it to canvas. So crop to canvas. There we go. And do the same with the red background. Crop to canvas. There we go. Now, I'll be adding one of the two animations that this watch face has. The first one is, uh, of course, the snow. Let's create snow, guys. So here I'll add a frame by frame and to create snow on FaceMaker you only need a mouse click. Just click here. Generate. Now this doesn't look like snow, right? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look like snow. Uh, we have to make it look like snow. So the first thing is uh, these circles are too large, uh, so let's make them smaller, I would say 4 pixels. Okay, and now they have to fall from the top left into the bottom right. Imagine that there's wind and that uh, snow is moving this way, okay? So I'm gonna change the direction here and force it to go into the bottom right. There we go. Now this is the the snow effect we needed. Now I need I want to do a little uh, test here. Uh, right now we're using the default shape. So FaceMaker has circle, hatch, triangle. Um, what else? We have polygons, or rather, this is a pentagon. So yeah. Uh, star. Oh, this one looks nice also. Yeah, I might do a version with stars. <laughs> so yeah, uh, but we can use a custom image. And if I press this option here, image, we can go and remember those images we gathered. The reference image. No, not this one, sorry. It's the Christmas 23 ref. So, here we have a white snowflake icon. There we go. Now you'll notice that now the, the circles are now snowflakes. And I'm not sure if I'm going to use this to be frank. Um, okay, I think I prefer circle and perhaps make it uh, smaller let's go with three and yes I will go with this option so um, we could also increase the number of flags so if I wanted I could add 500 or maybe even uh, 5,000 <laughs> Yeah, it's a, it's a snowstorm. Uh, no, let's go with a, this will make it too, too noisy. Let's go with a 300. Yeah, I believe this will work. So let's go with 300 and okay, I believe this will work. We need to use random movement, so some move slightly to the right, others slightly down. Um, okay, yeah. I believe this is perfect. Let me just make it uh, fall a little bit slower. So let's go with four. Okay, I think I like it. So this will be our animation for the snow. Okay, this is done. 
let's call it snow and this is now done let's press ctrl s and save and now I'm going to have the second animation so it will be the Santa sleigh up here okay so let's add it frame by frame and let's import that uh, movie that um, video this one stock footage animation studio at Santa okay just drag and drop there and you can use uh, several video formats so this is WebM but you can import AVI, uh, MP4, uh, GIF, um, MKV, MP4, I said it already, uh, M, M4V uh, and I think I mentioned all of them but just experiment okay so now we have this but uh, this video as a problem first it's 300 frames okay this is madness uh, we can't use this on a watch face but face maker allows you to import it because you can make it smaller okay so let's do that let's make it smaller and make it uh, usable on our watch face the first thing is we have to remove this uh, green background here and or rather I think we should make it smaller first uh, not smaller on the size that we will definitely do later but uh, right now we need to optimize it by pressing this button here and what FaceMaker will do is it will remove every other frame okay and now we have 150 this is still not usable by FaceMaker okay uh, because right now it will last one uh, and a half seconds if I press play okay I think we can make it move faster so let's go with 80 Perhaps a smaller number, 60. There we go. Yeah, I think this, yeah, this is better. Okay, now we need to remove this green uh, background here and you can easily do it. Or rather, I think I'm going to optimize this further because 150 frames is way too much. So let's do that optimize animation there we go and uh, let me just see here because I believe this has useless I believe this has useless frames so I'm going to make it smaller for now so 230 and I think 230 will be perfect we'll be putting it up here okay and it will be a wide silhouette so let me see here let me just check the frames so let's start on one it goes down and then it goes up and then it starts to go down on the 21st okay let's remove everything up until frame from the the 22nd forward so let's open the frame editor and here I will we'll select 22 and then click shift and click the last one and there we go we have them all selected and we can now simply delete them there we go and submit and now let me see the animation oops uh, we still have a little glitch I think we can remove further I think we can remove more uh, so let's say yeah let's move the 20 second so here delete and submit let's press play 
yeah I think we can remove more so let's remove this one here delete and submit and play we can remove more still uh, delete and submit and play Yeah, this is almost, I think, one more. This one here. So delete and submit and play. There we go. Now we have a loop and the animation only has 18 frames. How great is that? Okay, so I think I'm going to make it uh, larger. Uh, let me see here. Um, yeah, let's increase the size. I don't want it to be overwhelming, okay? And I believe this will work. If we need it to be smaller, we can make it smaller later, okay? So let's stop the preview and let's take care of that uh, green background. So let's go into the effects and add a uh, color to alpha. And here I will uh, pick this color, this green color, and increase the threshold all the way to 100. And there we go. Yeah, uh, this is not perfect because there are other shades of green there. Uh, but if I remove them, the horns of the reindeer and these wires here of the frame of the, of the sleigh won't be visible. So I believe I will apply this and then I will simply use a fill color. There we go. This is exactly what we needed. And we can now put it there. Perhaps push, the, push it just a little bit upwards. And now let's see what we have. Yes, I believe this is perfect. I will apply this uh, fill color and then I will do a crop to content just for good measure because we had some uh, transparent pixels all around and now they are removed. There we go. This is just perfect and we can now proceed. So let's call this uh, Santa. And there we go. No, I want to tell people that this is a Christmas watch face. So we need to put Merry Christmas somewhere on this watch face. Um, I think, let me see here. I'm gonna put it here, okay? Down here on the, on the little planet we have down here. So I'm gonna add a uh, text artistic and I'm gonna write Merry Christmas. Okay, I'm going to use the uh, same color as the background, and I believe it's this one, yeah, since we can't see it. And I'm going to put it here, and I'm going to make it round, right there. And if you remember from the start of this video, these, uh, this circle here, the white one, I resized it to 500. So this up here needs to be 500 for us to have a perfect match for the size, okay? Um, next, we need to address the, uh, the font. And I gathered some fonts, uh, let me show you here. We have these two, and I think I used this one on my tests, and I believe I did. So it will be this one, Merry Christmas Star. So, Let's import it, preferences, fonts, and here I will press import font, and there we go. Uh, Merry Christmas star. I will import the both of them. Oh, and we need another one for the heart rate later. So I'm going to import it uh, now. So we'll select these three here and press open. And now they're imported on FaceMaker, and you can see what they look like right here okay so let's press submit and here they should be available now 
and there we go. This is way too small. I think this one is the flake. Oh, uh, no, it's this one. We need this one. Okay, so the font needs to be smaller, something like that. And I'll zoom out. Let me just see here. We need it to be 500 here. So let's increase the radius until it is 500. There we go. And now let's center it. Right there, okay? And I believe we can make this larger. Let me see here. Now we went over the 500, so we need to make the radius smaller. Right there and center it there we go pull it slightly up and now let me just hide the guidelines and see what we have here block this uh, and yes i believe this will work i might change back to flake let's go with flake yeah Okay, so the Merry Christmas uh, message is there and we can proceed. Now I'm going to start adding, or rather, let me just rename this Merry Christmas. There we go. And now I am going to start adding some data types. And the first one is the heart rate. This watch face won't have many data types like, you know, stats and all that. Uh, it will have battery, it will have, yeah, maybe steps, I uh, will have steps, and the heart rate, okay? So let's add the first container, and here we'll add, uh, set the uh, heart rate data type. There we go. Push the container down, right there. There we go, and lock it. And now first I am going to add, or rather I will put the uh, heart image on the background. I could put it here, okay? But I prefer to uh, separate the background from the data right here, okay? So let's add an image and here I will import that candy cane heart. There we go. Let's resize it and place it. We might have to make the Merry Christmas smaller or rather not, uh, maybe it's not necessary. Let me just resize this and make it work. Okay, so this is now centered. Let's enable the guidelines and indeed it is. Uh, yes, this is centered. So let me just lock it and see what we have. I will pull it up just one or two pixels right there and now we can add here we can add the uh, heart rate image combo so image combo heart rate and generate and here we will generate the uh, the numbers uh, but we need to select another font which was this one there we go so here yeah, this needs to be lighter. So let's try and find a good red color for this. Maybe this one. There we go. And this is too large. Okay, let's crop the content and center it, or rather, let's align it to the center and then we can place it and press preview. And there we go. This will be the heart rate, okay? Right here. Um, yeah, I believe this will work. I might make this uh, candy cane heart a little bit darker because right now it has a much lighter red that it's not really going with, uh, with the other tones of red we have on the watch face. 
So let's do that. Let's add a brightness effect and then, oh, yeah, I forgot, maybe a gamma. Because the brightness will also uh, darken the white, the white part. Uh, let me see here, perhaps gamma. Yeah, it's doing the same. I don't know, perhaps. Let's try contrast. The contrast will make it uh, brighter, as you see there. But now, we might be able to use a brightness effect. Well, you know what? Yeah, I'm not gonna change this. Uh, it looks good the way it is. So let's keep it. What the hell? Okay, so yes, I believe this is going very nicely. Let's, uh, let me just select the Santa watch face here. And I want to pull it up just a little bit because I have to have space for the hours, which will be here on the center. Now let's take care of that. So let me just preview. And yes, now I believe we have enough space. So let's have the uh, time main container here and had a uh, image set. There we go. And then select the hours first digit and press January. We already have that uh, font from there. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to use it, but we'll see. Let me just increase the size. And let me put it here. Enable the guidelines. Okay. Yeah. We're going to use a white color. So, yeah. White color here, white color here. And this one will give it a slightly change like that. Just not that is uh, pure white. And okay, I believe this will work. So let's duplicate it and uh, change the data type to our second digit and press generate and then push it to the right. Now remember, we still have to add those two dots here. So we need space. I believe this will work the way it is. So let's leave it like this and now duplicate change the data type to minutes first digit and press generate. Now we can push it to the right. And just like that, let me just lock this so I can see the distance. And just a tad to the left and yes, I believe this is centered. So duplicate minutes second digit and press generate and then move it to the right. Let's see the spacing here and one more. And there we go. All done. And if I press preview now, there we go. Yes, I believe this is exactly what I wanted. So Right now, we need to make uh, a little shadow on the numbers, so they stand out a little more, okay? Because this is too much going on on the watch face here, with the Santa and the snow and all that. So, let's uh, use a shadow here and add uh, an effect. So, shadow, there we go. And I'm not going to use blur, okay? Let's remove the blur and move it to the right first, right there. So it will be four and four. Okay. Um, let me see here. Let's go with five on the X or rather six. There we go. 
this is perfect. So now here, I am going to apply the last, last shadow, okay? But we'll change this. Instead of six on the X, I'll go with two, or rather four, only four. So that the distance is uh, sl uh, smaller, or maybe three. There we go. This is exactly what I wanted. Uh, let's do the same for the others. So effects, last shadow, and this one will be minus three. Yeah. And now this one, effects, shadow, Oh, rather, sorry. <laughs> okay, no problem. Uh, it was uh, four here and minus six. There we go. Um, let me just check here. Yeah, it's four minus three and this one four minus six. Okay, now we can add those two dots there. And for that, I'm going to add a text artistic here and insert two dots right there okay and this is I think too large yeah I'm gonna make it smaller right there let me see if this is centered and it's not so a little bit to the right there we go. Now we need to apply that uh, shadow effect. So here I'm going to have the shadow, but this time I will only move it on the Y axis. So four. There we go. Because you see the effect I'm going for, right? Just uh, almost as uh, the light is coming from here and from here and creating these uh, shadows, these uh, shadows going into the center, okay? So this is now done. We can, oh, by the way, let me just check one thing because I think I forgot, yeah, we, we have blur on this one. We don't want blur. Let me check the others and this one doesn't have it. So let's press preview. And voila, how great is that? Uh -huh. Okay, uh, we're almost done. Now we need to make one of the hardest uh, parts of the video. Um, I was thinking about creating a uh, steps and battery uh, progress, and I thought about how to implement them. Uh, the best way for me would be to have a, a pile of presents here on the left and another one here on the right. And they will be grayscale, so black and white. Uh, as the steps grow and the battery grows, they will become colored, okay? And this is why I uh, got these images from the web. Uh, all these presents can be imported and arranged in, in a way that we can create a background for this uh, progress widget, okay? So let's do that. Um, let's start and add it by adding a image here. And I'm going to start importing some images. Let's start from the bottom. And we need to have one of those um, bigger presents. So let me see here, perhaps this one. Uh, I think all are, yeah, they're all locked. So now we can start and playing with this. We can resize and place it and then rotate it. Now another image, or rather, let's call this present. Not the present, present but present. There we go. And now I am going to simply clone it. And here, I uh, will replace it with another one. So, maybe this one. There we go. And we can now resize it. Like this. And rotate it. Like that. Okay. 
So now clone and let's import another one. So maybe this one here. Resize it. We'll place it and rotate it. Just like that and perhaps resize it even more. Okay, duplicate another one. And yes, you might find this boring, but uh, I find it, you know, kind of fun to arrange these images and make them look like they're piled, uh, a pile of presents. Okay, resize this. And there we go. We don't want any gaps, okay? So clone this one. Let's import another one. And perhaps we'll start using these. Okay. Rotate it. Resize it. Yeah, I believe this is good. So clone. And now this one. There we go. And resize it, rotate it. We're almost done, okay? Um, clone, and I'll put two more, I guess. Uh, perhaps this one here. There we go. And scale it. And control. Yeah. Right there. And one last one, so it will be this one, or rather, let's go with the green one. There we go. Resize it, make it real small and put it on top and try to match the overall orientation. Oh, I got to the max, so I'll make it zero and then I can further rotate and I think it needs to be larger so you can work with the widgets uh, right here or right here okay you choose what's easier whatever is easier for you so I'm going to tweak some of them right there Okay, and okay, I think we have something we can work with. Uh, let me just place this one, and yeah. Yes, this will work just fine, okay? So we have this, and we need now to uh, uh, merge all these presents. So let, let's do that. And done. We have our composition. We imported all these images and we rotated them and resized them and then merged them to create a single image of a pile of presents. How great is this? Okay, so this will come on the background. So let me put it there. Right there. And now we can further improve the location. So Oh, it needed to be above the clouds, I believe. Um, let me see here. Okay. So the clouds are here. I'll put it here. And this one too. There we go. And now the gifts can go above the clouds. Just a little bit. And just so that the, the trees aren't above. Uh, or covering too much of the presence. We still need to know what that is, okay? And yes, 
Hmm. Okay. I will go with this. Okay, this is done. Uh, now I am going to rename this to presence. There we go. And now we need to clone it. So I'm going to duplicate it and hide the duplicate and go back to this one. And here I am going to add a grayscale effect. There we go. And after I had this grayscale, I had a brightness and lower the brightness. There we go. So this will be the natural state of the presence. As you walk throughout the day, they will start to get colored. So this will fill up with color all the way to the top. Okay. So this will be the, um, the progress, the steps progress. And we need another one for the other side, which will be the, uh, the battery, I guess. So let's do that. Um, here, I am going to uh, apply this. There we go. And then I am going to uh, crop to canvas. Just like that, okay? And here I'll apply a mirror modifier. And we have it on the other side too. How great is that, okay? So this is now done, I believe. Um, let me see here. We can start adding uh, the uh, shadows to all these down here. So let's go into the white background and trees and merge them. So add. There we go. And here I am going to add a shadow effect. And you will soon see how this changes everything. So shadow. And let me just turn off the guidelines. And zoom in. And now we can increase the shadow effect. Just look at that. You'll start seeing some, uh, you know, starting to look more like 3D or something. There you go. And now let's make the same here for the trees. So the red trees and the red background. So let's merge them, add, and apply the last effect, the shadow. There we go. And yes, I believe that this is now looking very good, I think. Let's press preview and see what we have. I might make the Santa sleigh move faster. So let me just change this to 80. Perhaps it's too much. Let's go with 90. Still too much. Uh, 100 should be perfect. Don't select one because that wouldn't look good. Okay. 100. There we go. Um, let's save and stop the preview. Now, all that's left is these image sets here. And this will be kind of uh, hard to do. Uh, and let me explain why. So we have all these uh, trees here and these uh, have to be on the background, okay? I could move these above the image the image set that will represent the battery and the steps here okay and they will would be above the trees or rather the trees would be above those image sets but then the trees would be above the animation because the animation has to be here on this on this layer here the background so we need to cut the image set so that the trees don't get, don't get behind, okay? They have to be on top. So we have to cut the image set so that the trees look like they are on top of the presence. And this is the artist part, okay? So here I am going into that presence image or rather the cloned one, the color one here. And I am going to save it on the uh, library. So let's save it on the miscellaneous 
uh, category and here I will we'll call it presence and submit okay now we have the image on the library if I go into the library here and select the miscellaneous uh, category you'll see we have the image saved here okay by the way whenever you save something on the library you can access it if you go into the face maker folder here pressing library miss and there we go the image is here okay so you can also import images like this into the library although I do not recommend it because uh, you have to be careful about the uh, file names okay they they can't be they can't have uh, spaces or strange characters so keep that in mind okay we have this image saved on the library um, now we need to use it to create an image set that will represent the battery and the steps okay let's do that so we have a little tool called the image set generator and here I will import that presence um, image we saved there we go and now we need to create um, image sets let me show you how you press for the start point and then again for the end point right here okay so this is what FaceMaker will do wherever you see those red um, lines um, FaceMaker will cut the image and create all the segments for you so let me just do a little adjustment here I would like this to be perfectly uh, vertical right there and we need 11 images so we need to make 10 cups so let's cut it so 0 to 10 this will give us 11 images okay uh, so we need uh, 10 for the steps and 11 for the images uh, I will create uh, this one first and this one will be the or rather I think we can create um, or rather not uh, so yeah the steps will need 10 and the battery will need 11 so this one is always needed uh, we have to create this twice no problem so let's save and here I will create a folder and call it um, since this one has 11 I'll call it the battery I am for or rather I ask for image set and then save the images inside there we go and now I am going to lower this value here and make it nine cuts so now we have ten images zero to nine okay and now we can simply press save and here create another folder called steps oops steps image set there we go and save okay we have the image sets images and we can now uh, import them and use them as a progress image uh, widget that will represent the steps and the battery so right now I'm going to add a new container here on the widget and set it to steps there we go uh, I need to first define where the container is so anytime you press this face maker or rather the watch <laughs> will take you into the uh, watch um, hat so here we'll define uh, right now this is on minus 17 so let's put it on zero because we removed that uh, limitation that keeps the uh, widgets inside the watch canvas I'll enable it again because it's uh, very handy okay so right now let's try and place this and resize it right there okay so when we click this it will take us into the steps um, app on the watch 
Um, so it'll 102 by 192. Okay, let's lock this and add a image set. And here I will select steps thousands. So this will represent the thousands of steps you walked in any given day. So let's import those uh, images we created, these ones. Okay, and open. And there we go. You can't see anything because right now this is on frame one. If we scroll the mouse wheel with shift key uh, uh, pressed, there we go. Now we can match the location. So let's try and do that. Well, yeah, we need to match it because we merged it already and uh, cloned it to the right. So we can't really use. We need to make it smaller somehow. It got bigger on export. So let's do that. There we go. Right there. And right there. If I press preview now. And there you go. Now we have that problem I mentioned. So let me see. I don't think this is matched uh, correctly. Yes, it is. Okay. So now we have that problem I mentioned. Um, we need to have these trees above this, but we can't put it there because the animation has to be down here. It won't work on the other layers. So what we can do is uh, first create copies of the background white and background red. So let's create clones right there. And this one here, clone and put it up there. And let's hide these for now. Uh, now I need to merge the two clones. So this and this, okay? So let's do that. Add. And now they're one single image. And uh, just for good measure, I am going to, um, let me see here. Yeah, I'll crop the canvas. There we go. And now I want to use this image to, oh, why the hell has this moved upwards? I, I'm not really sure what happened. I'm sorry. Let me just check. Yeah, this is weird. Why the hell it cut the image down here? Well, we didn't need it. it uh, I guess it would work, but I want to test it because this is not um, uh, something that I expected that would happen. So background red, background white, and clone. Put it up here, okay. And now we can merge these two, just like we did before. Hmm, this is weird. Oh, I'm not applying the effects. I am so sorry. Uh, this is working correctly. The problem is uh, these two, have effects. They have a shadow effect with 10 pixels, uh, which added on top and on the bottom gives us 20. So FaceMaker is trying to compensate for that when it's merging the images. Uh, before you merge images, you should always apply their effects. Not all, but some, like the shadow, um, effect uh, need to be merged uh, or applied before you merge images. Okay, so let's uh, solve this by cloning and the white one too, right there. And now we can uh, apply the effects. So apply all and this one effects, apply all. And now we can merge them. So add and there we go, working perfectly now. And now we can crop the canvas. There we go. So here I am going to use this image here to remove uh, the pines, the pine trees and the circle from this image set. Um, 
but we will need to because we need to remove it from the one on the right so I will create a clone here and hide it for now and uh, I will move this image above the steps right there and show it okay now I am going to uh, merge these two by using the subtract operation so I click here merge down and press subtract and there we go it is now cut to the uh, shape of the trees and their shadow and all that and if I press play is that now it seems that the presents are on the background um, there's only one uh, slight problem here which is the um, the presents are going over the animation but uh, I guess no one will notice right <laughs> uh, okay let's proceed uh, this is now done and you have seen how I solved this very complex uh, situation here um, if we zoom in you can see that this is absolutely perfect okay but the presence are actually above the trees uh, layer okay so yeah this is how you solve this uh, solve something like this uh, but first I want to solve another thing this image this image set is huge outside the canvas and we need to cut it to canvas and then crop the content and let's do that so first crop the content or rather crop the canvas and there you go and now we crop the content and it was made as small as possible right here okay if we unlock it you'll see that the image set is now only this part here and this is perfect for what we need okay so let's proceed and do the other side too so here I'm going to add a uh, battery container and if I remember correctly it was 102 by 192 and there we go I believe this is exactly what we need let me see if it's 154 155 okay yeah it doesn't matter no one would notice not even you so uh, here I'm going to have uh, the image set we need so here image set battery and upload those 11 images I am going to drag and drop them so let's go back there we go and here we have the uh, battery image set I'll select all these and drag and drop them here now we have a little problem which is we need to invert it because you'll see that um, sorry uh, you'll see that we inverted the presence by using the mirror modifier on the background on the uh, grayscale background so we need to invert this horizontally and for that we are going to use the flip horizontal there we go and apply and here we need to match the size because somehow as I said earlier um, it got bigger on export so here I am going to the preferences and disable the contain widgets this way we can go outside the canvas put it on the last frame and try our best to match the size so right there and right here let's press play and there we go yeah this will work I believe right there and okay perfect now we have this finished and we can apply the same uh, cutout effect we did for the uh, for the steps 
and that's why we made a, um, a clone out of this background here. So let's put it above the battery uh, image set right here and here I will uh, press merge down subtract and there we go now this is done if you take a look here okay it's behind the trees and this is exactly what we needed so now we need to do the same we did for the steps we have to crop the content and to canvas first so let's do that um, crop the canvas and then crop to content and there we go perfect okay um, the problem now is we have a uh, bunch of presents there but we don't know what they represent and uh, to be to be frank I didn't think about this <laughs> I didn't quite think about this, uh, but I know I can solve it uh, this way. So let me uh, add an image here, uh, and this image will represent the steps. I will put it on this uh, pine here, or maybe this one. Yeah, this one has, is a little bit bigger. Okay, let's do that. Uh, let's go into the library and uh, stencils and select a steps, a representation of the steps. I might go with this. Let me see here. Zoom out and resize it. it ha this has to fit in here, okay? So, right there. And now let's give it a red color. So fill color like this. And I believe I have one saved and indeed I do. Ah, oh, no, I'm not sure. It doesn't look too well. Well, I guess it will have to do. Yes, I didn't think this uh, through. I mean, I um, I thought about it. I thought about it. I thought about putting some, you know, those bowls uh, from the, the Christmas tree up here with a symbol, but then I realized it would be too much on the screen, too much information. So I removed that. And you know what? This is gonna be it. <laughs> Okay, let let me just clone this, and I'm gonna use this. I don't care. You know, I'm just showing you how you can do stuff. Um, I'm not a designer. I don't need it to be perfect. You know, so that's it. Okay, uh, we have this, and we can now unlock it and resize it. Make it so. It fits there. And there we go. You know, this is not a watch face I will use every day. I will use it perhaps on Christmas night and on Christmas day and then I will move on to the new year, okay? And this is what we have. Okay, this is not uh, perfect um, at all. Oh, I forgot about the AM, PM. Okay, let's do that real quick. So here on the time, I will add an image set. Uh, select AM, PM and press generate. And now I will make it smaller. Right there. And I'll place it right there. I don't want anything to be shown when it's 24 hours, so I'll delete this. And this is done. So now I can apply a shadow uh, four on the Y and remove the blur and we'll, we're golden. Okay, perfect. Let's save. And now let's do a quick uh, always on display, okay? 
So the always on display, as I usually uh, explain, shows uh, something, some information. Uh, you shouldn't include too much information uh, when the screen goes off, when this dynamic screen goes off. So I thought about using only the hours, minutes, a.m., p.m., and the Merry Christmas um, text, okay, right here. So let's try that. Here I'll have a time container and I will select all these, control C, select the time here and control V. There we go. And now let's take care of the Merry Christmas text, control C, and here add a background and control V. Oh, this is white. Okay, no problem. Uh, thankfully, I kept it as a uh, artistic text, so all we have to do is change the color. Right here. Okay. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I think... Yeah, I think this is enough. Yeah. I guess this is enough. I won't... Uh, you know, uh, I won't delay this video even further. Uh, I guess this works perfectly. So yeah, uh, now the the thing I do uh, when I finish a watch face is I merge all those layers we created. Okay, so let's do that. Add, 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 and. I believe this has the, yeah, this has the uh, shadow effect, so let's apply it. And everything else, oh yeah, the mirror. This isn't absolutely necessary, just to make sure that nothing goes wrong. So I am just uh, applying all the effects, okay? The colors, we don't need them. I can remove this uh, layer. And now finishing, uh, uh, merging all these layers. So let's go and do it. Right there, right there, right there, and right there. And you'll see that we need now to crop to canvas. There we go. And then make it a sphere. And voila, all done. I guess we can, yeah, we have one outside here of the canvas, so let's uh, crop the content. And there we go. And everything is correct now. I can press preview, and there we go. Uh, a face maker Christmas uh, watch face. Uh, what do you think about it? Tell me something on the Discord server or here on the YouTube channel. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe. I really need you to subscribe my channel and like because lately, uh, you know, uh, Facemaker lost some notoriety uh, and um, less people go into the Discord server uh, coming from YouTube. So if you, if my channel becomes more subscribed and more liked, uh, maybe I'll get more visits on the Discord uh, server and more people will know that Facemaker exists. So I'm counting on your help. Uh, make it a Christmas uh, gift for me and for the Facemaker software. Okay, so I hope you like this video. I wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I hope to see you on the next one. Bye.